Spirit of Poetry by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow There is a quiet spirit in these woods that dwells wherever the gentle south wind blows. Where, underneath the white thorn in the glade, the wildflowers bloom, or kissing the soft air, the leaves above their sunny palms outspread. With what a tender and impassioned voice it fills the nice and delicate ear of thought. When the fast ushering star of morning comes overriding the gray hills with golden scarf, or when the cowled and dusky sandaled eve From out the western gate departs with silent pace. That spirit moves in the green valley, where the silver brook, from its full laver, pours the white cascade. And babbling low amid the tangled woods, slips down through moss-grown stones with endless laughter. And frequent on the everlasting hills, its feet go forth when it doth wrap itself in all the dark embroidery of the storm and shouts the stern, strong wind. And here, amid the silent majesty of these deep woods, its presence shall uplift thy thoughts from earth. As to the sunshine and the pure bright air, their tops and green trees lift. Hence gifted bards have ever loved the calm and quiet shades. For them there was an eloquent voice in all the sylvan pomp of woods. The golden sun, the flowers, the leaves, the river on its way, blue skies, the silver clouds, the gentle winds. The swelling upland, where the sidelong sun aslant the wooded slope at evening goes. Groves, through whose broken roof the sky looks in, mountain and shattered cliff and sunny vale, the distant lake, fountains, and mighty trees. In many a lazy syllable, repeating their old poetic legends to the wind. In this is the sweet spirit that doth fill the world. And in these wayward days of youth, my busy fancy oft embodies it as a bright image of the light and beauty that dwell in nature, of the heavenly forms we worship in our dreams, and the soft hues that stain the wild bird's wing, and flush the clouds when the sun sets. Within her eye the heaven of April, with its changing light, and when it wears the blue of May, is hung, and on her lip the rich red rose. Her hair is like the summer tresses of the trees, when twilight makes them brown. And on her cheek blushes the richness of an autumn sky with ever-shifting beauty. Then her breath, it is so like the gentle air of spring 
as from the morning's dewy flowers it comes full of their fragrance, that it is a joy to have it around us. And her silver voice is the rich music of a summer bird heard in the still night with its passionate cadence.